Hey everyone, it's your host Alonso, ready to take you on a new STEM adventure. Today we'll be talking about electric cars. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you'll never miss another STEM adventure. And now back to today's topic, electric cars. Electric cars have become more popular in recent years due to technological advances. So we hear about electric cars a lot, like Teslas. But do you know how they work? Today we'll take a closer look at the science behind electric cars so the next time you see one, you'll know how it works. Before we dive into this video, there are two foundational videos you should look at first to help you understand the concepts we're talking about today. What is electricity and what are electric circuits? And now back to today's topic. So what exactly is an electric car? An electric car is a type of car that is powered by electricity. This is different than many of the types of cars we're used to seeing that are powered by internal combustion engines, which are powered by burning fuel such as gasoline. To better understand how electric cars work, let's take a look at the inside of an electric car and talk about its key components. And those are the charging port, the battery pack, the inverter, the induction motor, and the drivetrain. The charging port is the part of the car that connects to the external electric supply. And the battery pack is a power source for the vehicle that has thousands of small batteries, which are called, commonly called lithium ion batteries. You've probably seen a lithium ion battery before because many devices we use today require them, like cell phones. Lithium ion batteries are rechargeable, so that allows people to use a source, like a charging unit or a charging station, to store electric charge for later use. An inverter is a tool that takes incoming DC current and changes it into AC current. If you remember from our last video, DC current is when electrons flow in the same direction and the voltage is constant. On the other hand, alternating current is, occurs when the electrons periodically change direction and the voltage fluctuates. An induction motor is an electric motor powered by AC current. And by the way, this motor was invented by Nikola Tesla, who we talked about in our last video, who was a supporter of the use of AC current. Finally, the drivetrain is all the parts of the car that make it move, like the wheels, the transmission, and the engine. Now we have learned about the components of an electric car, let's put it all together. So let's say you have an electric car. The first thing you would need to do is charge it. So you would find a charging station or plug it into an outlet. Outlets or stations provide electric current to the car, sometimes AC, like in the case of charging a vehicle at home, and sometimes DC, for example, like, in, like at some charging stations. Keep in mind that the battery can only store power as DC. Electric cars have an onboard charger, which is a tool that converts any power that comes from AC form to DC, so, the, so that it can be stored in the battery pack. Now the battery pack in the electric car then supplies DC current to the inverter, which converts the current to AC. The inverter needs to make this conversion because the induction motor runs on AC. The AC current then powers the induction motor and creates a rotating magnetic field, or RMF. This causes the motor to rotate. Finally, this energy is sent to the drivetrain and the wheels of the car will start moving. So now you know! Let's test your knowledge with the quiz question. Approximately, how much of the energy from charging an electric car actually ends up powering the car? Is it A, 100%, B, 80%, C, 60%, or finally, D, 40%? If you guess option B, 80%, you are correct. One of the many benefits from an electric car is their efficiency. According to the US Department of Energy, approximately 12 to 30% of the energy generated by a combustion engine is used to actually make the car move compared to over 80% of the energy for electric cars. So now you know how electric cars work. Before we go, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you'll never miss another STEM video. Thanks for joining me in the STEMager adventure, and I'll see you in the next video.